Hello, everybody. This is Michael here speaking. And it's a lovely Wednesday, at least here in Estonia. Warm and sunny already, so the summer is, we can say the summer has arrived in Europe. So, uh, with this great... Uh, mm, with this great spirit and, and emotions, we can move on with today's webinar. And today we will discuss about, uh, about what has happened recently, what has been done in the United Arab Emirates. And then, of course, uh, we'll talk about the technology itself at, uh, as well. Uh, for the next time, I will prepare for you a little bit different webinar. I will show more pictures and tell you, of course, about the technology itself as well. And but today we we continue with a with a our traditional webinar, but with a little bit new news as well. So my name is Michael. I'm uh, from Estonia and I have been Skyway investor for more than three years now and these have been very exciting years because uh, i have uh, well experienced uh, a lot of great emotions a uh, well the, the this path would, uh, together with skyway has been amazing because i have seen myself how, how the development um, uh, well how, how the technology has developed uh, since the beginning so as we know it, it's not the idea itself is not new it, it comes uh, it goes back more than 40 years when the creator of Skyway, Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, thought about the idea of going to the second level. And back then he already understood that uh, we, we need to have a new uh, solutions, new technologies to, um, to comprehend with, uh, with new obstacles uh, that will arrive in the future because the, due to the, well, the growth of population and and the amount of cars that are existing and, and, and the amount of people that go to live in the city, uh, um, well, the urbanization, it, it goes, it goes, uh, it is on, so to say, the process of it. So therefore, the need is absolutely here for new technologies, for new solutions. Uh, just uh, the question is, will it be Skyway? And today I will tell you about the main reasons why it will be Skyway that will take the main market, um, the second level string transportation market, so to say. But at first, let's see something that has uh, already been done in the United Arab Emirates. As we know, this is our second innovation and demonstration center. It's uh, well, the name is Innovation Center, Sarcha Innovation Center. It, it's located in the United Arab Emirates, about approximately 40 to 50 kilometers from uh, from Dubai. And uh, this is the first line, what you see here, and this is the 400 meter track uh, that uh, is now fully um, fully working. And then the tests are going on absolutely every day, day and night. Uh, in order to to certify to certify the pro the project or not the project but uh, but um, track and the models on 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 that specific uh, line and then what else we have uh, as you might know and if you are not yet familiar then Skyway is also building echo houses we have one in Belarus near Minsk in Marina Gorka. The first one is there and the second one is here in United Arab Emirates. And what is a awesome fact about this house is that this is first ever built wooden house in United Arab Emirates. So nobody, no company has done it before and Skyway is the first to, to build wooden house in United Arab Emirates. That also shows how great relationships we have with our with their government there and, uh, and the authorities as well. And here is another another ankle. So the um, facade and, and the outer ulterior uh, look has been uh, built. And now it's time to to go to the details. But the main idea about this house is that it's uh, fully autonomous, so it can produce electricity, water, and so on uh, by itself. Uh, and let's see how it turns on. But uh, this is great. And this is the tropical unicar. Uh, the luxurious one, four seats, 
and then well i know that the shakes love it they they are absolutely fan, um, well amazed about this model and technology itself as well and now this is the latest uh, latest achievement from about approximately one month ago when they um, well started the testing of sea containers this is the smaller one smaller sea container as you know then the bigger ones are uh, about 40 foot long this is the half the size uh, but uh, well they need some experiments and tests on this uh, one line or, or um, well monorail as well but a little bit later i will tell you more about this uh, these technologies so now Let's go on to the main main part of technology, and, and as I mentioned before, the idea of Skyway is not old in Anatoly Nitsky's head. So about forty years ago, he already thought about that. But uh, about eighty, ninety years ago, there was a visionary who um, pictured this. Uh, what, um, this is what you can see on the screen right now, and already back then. Some people, visionaries, uh, imagined and understood that we have to go to the second level, and that's mainly because, well, if you think about the bigger cities in Russia, for example, Petersburg, Moscow, in Europe, uh, Paris, Rome, they all have um, underground transportation systems. They have perfectly um, well developed the first level infrastructure buses trolley buses trains cars taxis uh, now there are um, self-driving buses also coming um, at least here in estonia i know the desks and, and uh, transport already runs in few places in short distance but this is our future as well but all these transportations on the first level do not solve the main problem which is the growth of uh, both population and the number of cars and vehicles which will cause traffic jams and then the other well accidents and so on so that way well that's the reason why we, we need more another solution and the only way to go is up to the second level well humans have tried it before as well for some examples train on the left side monorail on the right side monorail is well uh, more widely used uh, i mean if if you think about the second of transportation systems but it's not that widely used uh, overall in the world so um, it's not a popular technology but it's uh, you can see that technology more than well for example there is more maglev and then there is uh, well, and then the trains, so there, there are not that many technologies which are, well, capable of uh, doing good work. But monorail's problem is that it's very massive by its construction and, uh, and it's uh, not that fast and uh, it makes a lot of noise. And it's extremely expensive comparing to, for example, with Skyway. But in Germany, they introduced a few decades ago uh, this technology also I can uh, well I point you to to the supports which you can see uh, on the left side of the picture and, and uh, well there there are these metal uh, construction supports which have the old uh, road above it uh, above so these have to be after every 10 15 20 meters so it's not that uh, glamorous or beautiful if, if we compare if we think if we put it for example in the city centers or, or in the street so therefore it's uh, it's done on the river and of course then we have well in china we have this technology this is basically a um, tram upside down tram so by technology it doesn't um, different difference from from tram and then we have uh, these technologies which have these engines or wheels um, well in in, in first uh, well end or, or, or a start starting point where, where they, are, they are basically turning uh, constantly spinning and moving the um, chain or, or the string on it so the, the the machines or models themselves do not move on the strings or or chains or whatever technology they are using, but the, but the mechanism itself moves, not not the models. 
therefore it, they are very slow. Mostly we can see them in, in ski resorts all over the world. And then the last slide, then in Vietnam, for example, on Phukok Island, there is the bigger, biggest one in the world. Yes, so, and then, of course, the metros. Uh, one example about the price, it was more than 1 billion US dollars to construct one kilometer of uh, su subway under 2nd Avenue in the United States. So, and that was um, quite recently, some years ago. And then, then, then I, well, it shows how expensive it can be. And again, bigger cities already have this uh, technology. So therefore, to build new new ways, it's not that uh, sufficient. We need some better solutions. And now I can welcome you to the new age. This is Skyway. And as you can see, this uh, glamorous, its style is, it suits very well. And the monorail, which you can see on, on this uh, on this slide at, at this picture, it suits perfectly to the conditions uh, of the environment, both in cities, uh, outside the cities and so on. It doesn't harm the eyesight, so to say, at least not that much as, uh, well, if <laughs> I have been twice in Belarus in Eco Techno Park, where there are the, well, the first Techno Park and Demonstration and Certification Center and, and um, after being there some while, I couldn't even notice that the line is uh, going uh, above me or, or 50 meters higher on the ground. So that's very nice. And now it's the reasons, main reasons why Skyway is here to stay and why it will be successful. The first one is that it's innovative. Most of the transportation technologies that are in use today, they are made uh, centuries ago, back from 19th centuries, um, most of them. So there is nothing new about those technologies and then uh, there are other aspects as well that I will tell you briefly in this uh, following presentation. But now I will show you the double rail and why I like this one is, uh, well, you can see it's more massive, of course, but uh, which is great uh, with these technologies that we can drive or the models can drive both on, on the rail and under the rail. So there are like two sides. Uh, comparing with trains or trams, there is only one side, upper side, on basically the rails are on the ground and on the rails the model can, the tram or trolley or whatever, uh, can drive only uh, one direction uh, at once. But here is, uh, but this technology, Skyway technology, this will double the efficiency, double the speed, uh, double the um, duration and so on. And then therefore it's much more profitable, for example, if we compare it with, or not compare it, but if we think about transporting goods, for example, or cargo, which is where the most of the money is uh, in transportation sector, it's transporting uh, all this kind of goods and cargo. But the technology itself, it's actually, it's quite simple, but it has never put them together like Antolinovsky has done it, of course, patented uh, in patented way by him. And this basically, this picture describes how it is done. It's, it's very simple picture, of course. Um, it can be much more complicated because we can even take different wires, communication uh, cables and so on through the track. Uh, the rail structure, but basically what it is, the pre-stressed strings are located inside the rail and, and then it's filled with special filler to and, and covered with a special metal covers and or special materials so it can uh, reduce the noise pollution as well. And it is said that the Skyway can drive about 15, 50 decibels Mm, the noise, uh, the noise is about 50 decibels, so it's as much as I'm speaking or as humans speaking. So it's much less than than all the other rail uh, transportation systems we have today. And again, in Africa or or, or where there is no electri electricity, for example, we can even take electricity to the cities and villages uh, through the or with the skyway track structure. This picture I made uh, back in 2019 at the at EcoFest. Uh, last year it was in online format. Hopefully this year we can all go there again. If not, then uh, next year definitely. Well, 
depends, of course, about the situation in the world. But hopefully we can go there soon. And then the, when the Expo 2021 takes place in Dubai, I know that Skyway is also presented there. And uh, hopefully it is possible for us to go there as well and to see what has done uh, has been done there. So this, this, these are the great news. But as you can see, well, after being a while there in the in the EcoFest, I couldn't even notice that when I walked there that the skyway is riding 50 meters above. It, it, it suits her very well. It's very beautiful. All right. The second point is that it is ecological. Again, pictures is more than a thousand words. If you look at it, um, it's just fantastic comparing with other transportation technologies I showed you before. And then the new sites and this uh, technology or this model, what you see above, that's high speed Unibus. And this one goes up to 600 kilometers per hour. Uh, it's under development at the moment. Well, the track structure just have to, has to be um, about 30, 20, 30 kilometers long. And uh, they are planning it in Belarus. Um, well, and depending if it, if it goes well with the governments and, and the agreements that has to be made for the track structure to be built. And uh, then it go, then it will be built there. But if if uh, some some way it's not possible to build in Belarus, then the another option where the land is already allocated is in United Arab Emirates. But it's uh, much more expensive to construct it there. Therefore, the Belarus is the first uh, choice. And it's just to prove that it can go on that speeds and then to certify it, it again. And this will be revolutionary. And about the ecological aspects, uh, as you might know, the 19th century technologies are using mostly C uh, well, producing CO CO2 by burning fossil fuels. Skyway is fully electrical, so therefore there is no problem with CO2. And then we can even uh, we can even put um, well the solar panels and wind turbines uh, in, were constructed to to the um, uh, road, well, the track structure and produce electricity. Well, the track can produce electricity therefore by itself as well. But uh, another aspect is the wind uh, resistance. And basically Skyway is about 10 times, uh, has 10 times less wind resistance because of its, of its shape, shape of its body. And uh, the, the another uh, big aspect is that the wind can go under the Skyway model. There is no road that can cause a screen effect like with cars and therefore it's uh, much less wind resistance resistant. And of course, ecological aspect is this as well, what you see on the pictures. So a lot of money goes to maintain the roads to construct them uh, after a while and and uh, and so on and for example on the left side you can see a train in the snow basically what happens in the winter times when there is a heavy snowfall the trains can be lifted by a snow so therefore a special trains again are, are needed to clear the bath for the commercial ones so again a lot of resources goes to maintain and to to build and construct new uh, roads and there is no grass or no no life underneath the road and then and, and therefore Skyway is again capable of that, that the green grass and the bushes and all of them can grow underneath the track structure. All right, I will open up the second part of the presentation as soon as, as just a second, just a second and here it is. Yes, and then, well, I already briefly described, but on the right side, you can see, well, uh, what happens in, at least in Nordic countries, I know in Finland and Sweden, there are a lot of mountains, rocky mountains, and that has to be exploded in order to construct the road, the railroads or, or the car roads um, through the mountains. Uh, again, it's another big sector there and uh, another big business, but it's a, a lot of resources goes to do, to do that. And on the left side, to construct new roads on the, even if there is a flatland, so to say, then it has to be, well, dig, they have to dig about five to seven meters beneath the ground to fill it with special fillers. 
so that the roads can be uh, well mm, solid and and, uh, and and the vehicles can drive on it so again a lot of resources comparing for example with skyway which can go over the mountains which only needs uh, the land allocation for the supports and then and, uh, and can go directly from point a to point b and therefore in india i know the minister said that if they i don't recall at the moment what was the um, place from and to where the, it was calculated but uh, with sky with normal cars it, it, he said that the, the the cars will drive about eight hours that road it was not that uh, long it was about i think 300 or 400 kilometers long but with skyway it's uh, possible to do it uh, about two two hours even less so it's uh, four times uh, the time time it will take four times less time to do that and of course we can go over the rivers over the seas mm and then the so on the, so there is basically no um, obstacles uh, for, for our technology and this slide describes what uh, i was telling you in the beginning the traffic jams the um, crowdiness which we have and of course the construction of seaports uh, because Skyway, we can take up to five kilometers to the sea, uh, build special plateaus there, so the ships can bring cargo. And with Skyway, we can take the cargo to the mainland and and back back and forth. So, and uh, therefore, again, another great solution. And some pictures here. These are now um, uh, Dubai designs, or or I mean, United Arab Emirates designs, very glamorous, stylish, and as you can see. So the supports themselves can also be modified as it's needed in special regions or cities. For example, in my city, Tartu, I know that the designers, when we went to talk uh, with the government, I know that, that the designers said that they have to be somehow, not just some supports, but with some kind of design and they have to, well, it's, it's a university city here in Tartu. And then therefore it has to suit very well with uh, with uh, surroundings Turn point, uh, third point is safety Skyway is very safe uh, many people ask me uh, and now I explain it to you first of all which holds it on the road is this this derailment system and the motor wheel basically if you turn it upside down it still uh, hangs or, or, or stays on the track and you can read more about the detailed information um, about this uh, in the book called 100 Questions and 100 Answers, which is um, uh, made by Anatoly, Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, and it's free and it's available to find it uh, through internet. Uh, just search, search 100 Questions and 100 Answers. But what is more, we have in smart intelligence systems, the cameras uh, 360 degrees. And basically, if some object uh, arrives in our bath, or in Skyway's Skyway model's path, it automatically stops and, uh, and well, screens the surroundings. And if something happens with, uh, with the Unibus, for example, in, in the air or on the track, then um, there is another, uh, exactly the same uh, model, which has, well, they both the model, all the models have these elements in front and in the end, in the back, which suit the hundred percent or or perfectly with each other, so it they can be either pulled or uh, pushed into the maintenance. And uh, if that the last solution is not possible, then there are uh, well, like heli heli in helicopters, they have these straps. You can put it uh, around your waist and uh, around well the person and and. Uh, he can go on the ground. I believe it's much more safer than this picture, right? Which is very normal situation in, in uh, tropical climates. Now, the models and products, the fourth point, very important point as well, that we have real models. Uh, many of them are already certified. 
Mm, and then many of them are under certification processes. So there are a real models that run and uh, are, are being tested every day. And then the new models are being uh, well constructed and built constantly. So therefore a lot, a lot of work has been already done. And what is a revolutionary is this model, the Unicomp. And uh, as I mentioned here, the, the monorail, what you can see on, on this slide, basically the unicorns, they can drive both above and below. So, and, and the speed is about 80 to 100 kilometers per hour, comparing with the trucks, which take the same sea containers approximately 20 to 30 kilometers per hour, because, well, to the traffic, to, to the pauses that are mandatory and, and so on. The fifth point is that the demand is everywhere today and this I also described in, in the beginning that uh, most of the main cities have all the transportation systems and structures already very well developed but the problems still exist and therefore demand is absolutely everywhere. A uh, strong and professional team, we, we have currently working over 600 workers, uh, top uh, specialists um, and, and uh, the team is growing. We have a lot of different departments, then, uh, then buildings, uh, we have our own manufacturing uh, facilities and, and so on. So this also shows a great respect toward Anatoly Nitschke and his team that uh, they have been capable of doing this and achieving this. And it wouldn't be possible to do it without the team as well. So it's a win-win situation. And the seventh point and the last point, what we covered today is that it is financially beneficial. And here I can see two big sides. One is the customer or for example, for government or, or the private uh, company who will order the transportation system. And you can see on these price lists, uh, which well, this compares it with other technologies, similar technologies, and uh, Skyway is uh, 10 and more times cheaper than uh, most of the other technologies. And as you can uh, see from previous points, it's much more beneficial as well in, in many, 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 many uh, well aspects or, or um, yeah. Well, and now the news section. Uh, how the second part uh, or the second party or, or, or the group to whom it's uh, beneficial as well are investors, of course, because today we are in the in a 14th of stage of development and we have a chance to invest in Skyway and receive um, very valuable mother company shares, which uh, means that wherever in the world the uh, projects will be built. 20% uh, of the profits will be divided among uh, investors and it's uh, it's uh, based on ground uh, financing or ground funding um, mechanism so there are no big uh, investors and institutional investors yet but uh, most of the shares are divided between about 500 to 1 million people so therefore there is the power will remain in in the company of Skyway and the decisions will be made uh, to, bene to benefit both the, the company and the investors as well, because investors will receive dividends and uh, will be able to sell their shares in the future on the open market. But as you know, this year is also special because in, in a city called Korfakan in the United Arab Emirates, the first project was announced, the first United Arab Emirates project, and, and it will be fantastic. Uh, we'll see how, how how the how this development goes. Then uh, I think I believe it was last month or, or uh, yes last month when they started testing the sea container mm -hmm. transportation system and the French television also covered this uh, news. So this also pretty, basically after every um, one or two months we are in in the news all over the world. And then uh, today I know I, I saw my colleagues showed me today the um, catalog or um, the engineer ar artist, uh, the architects and engineer uh, brochure or, or it's not brochure, but this is like a, well, a magazine uh, in um, Vietnam, which is a very famous magazine and there is about 10 pages about Skyway. So this is huge. 
Then, as you might recall, uh, quite recently, um, a ship was um, well got uh, got stuck in the Suez Canal and caused about uh, 10 billion US dollar damage uh, to the companies, and uh, therefore they started. Well, the engineers uh, there started to look for another solution, since Sky also proposed uh, our technology to 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 make it more easier and uh, sufficient um, uh, transporting cargo there. Then Anatoly Niski recently talked about stage 15 and plans for the future. Uh, in summary, he mentioned that um, uh, about in two years, there we will see the high-speed uh, unibus, the 500 to 600 kilometers per hour uh, driving uh, vehicle. And uh, he also told that uh, all investors uh, have to understand that uh, we have to be patient. We have to, if possible, we should support also the project um, and then mostly be patient because uh, it all takes time. And as we know, the transportation sector is, is quite uh, competitious, so it's not easy to get on the market there, but Anatoly has done everything uh, in his power and will continue to do so with his team to make it uh, possible and make it reality. So more about all this you can read in your back office and, and uh, the, all, the, all the details and the news are also announced there. But soon we will move um, into next sub stage 14.2. That means that the um, price of the shares will go higher, uh, which means that we will receive uh, less shares uh, for the same amount of money uh, that we do today. So if you consider to invest here or uh, consider inviting more people or, or telling this project to other people, then um, I, I recommend you to hurry and then to do it now. So. Uh, because uh, after after we have moved to 14.2 stage, we are one step uh, closer to to the end stages, uh, which means that uh, well, after the 15th of stage, we will this uh, this opportunity will uh, will go away. So so to say, um, we, we will not be able to invest in the main company. But then there will be probably um, solutions or opportunities to invest in certain projects. But at the moment, we can benefit from all the projects all around the world. So yeah, 14.2 stage, go read it uh, up in your back office and, and uh, take action. And in the end, I would like to show you this picture as always, uh, because a few years ago, Anatoly Niski went to Dalai Lama's residence, where Dalai, well, he also told about Sky and showed the pictures to Dalai Lama. And his spirituality said that this is fantastic, that uh, all the world needs it. And blessed Anatoly and is given uh, tied a black, or sorry, the red uh, brace around Anatoly and Niski's hand and said, this will protect you. And what he mentioned more is that uh, this road will not be easy, but eventually you will be successful and this all will work out. So I wish everybody a well a patience and and a positive mind, and if possible, help the project, support the project financially. This is what we can do, and tell good about the projects and show it to another other people as well, because uh, if we do not show them, or, or for example, for our friends, and then after after the project is successful and we will benefit it as, a, as an investors then they will all come and say why did you tell me and so on so this is a great project to share and I uh, well uh, hope that you all, all uh, understand and, and, and uh, do the actions that are in everybody's uh, well best way best way for everybody but the next webinar will take place uh, exactly after two weeks, mm, the same time. And then, the, well, the idea of the webinar is the same, but I will try to a little bit modify it so to make it uh, more maybe mm, awesome to 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 see and and hear for for the people who have been here more than once or who have already listened and and. Uh, seen this presentation before so 
I will try to make it as interesting as possible and bring all the awesome facts and, and the main ideas and aspects of this technology to you. But all right, thank you very much and wish everybody a great continuing week uh, and, and, and stay healthy. All right, and enjoy sun, of course, as well, if possible. Bye.